Starbeams Audio. Thank you for listening to the Starburns Audio Podcast Network. We have so many great comedy shows to add to your playlist. Just last week on Starburns Audio, on the season two premiere of Humans Who Make Games, Adam Conover talks to comedian Ron Funches and Jean Goudon, creative director of the Assassin's Creed series. On Boogie Monster, Cal Kinane and Dave Stone share a perfect recipe for the quarantined cook. This week on Profiles and Eccentricity, they cover the history of the Khorasan Unity Cult, folks for whom a flat earth is ridiculous because they believe it's really a concave shell. Search Starburns Audio on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or any podcast platform for our full list of shows featuring hosts like Joe Coy, Amanda Seals, Jessica Chobot, and Jackie Johnson. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Starburns Audio. Enjoy the show. Stay safe. Stay healthy and keep laughing. Dan and Rand and Jay will share tales of folks so unaware they lack in grace and sometimes choose the life they choose will make the news. Breaking down each epic fail in Florida, there's half price bail. I'm happy to say they couldn't make this up. So listen to our podcast jam with co-host Arm and Dan. And Earth, don't be a jerk, cause when the music gets the funny hits and we are gonna take you down. Stick around, make a sound, hunger down, it's Dumb People Town. Hey, Townies, welcome to another episode of Dumb People Town. Population you. Population Canane. Kyle Canane, welcome back to Dumb People Town. Yeah, guys, what's up? I feel like you uh, you live on, you, you definitely like, you're the park ranger of Dumb People Town. I feel like you, you just, you, you patrol it. You handle the it, perimeter. You patrol yeah. it, you handle the perimeter, you're in the woods just need making these sure. fires extinguished by 1030, kids, <laughs> that's all right? That's right. Be safe. You could throw one beer can in there to find out it was a mistake, but I see another one in there and be pretty pissed. I that's come back around. Literally, you are the park ranger of Dumb People Town. A lot of times I've done that at my cabin. Really? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a pro move. That's a pro move, you, right? Uh, everybody's sitting around and you just drop a Coors light into mm-hmm. the fire and mm-hmm. without, maybe one other guy sees and gives you a nod <laughs> and you wait for the hiss to give you a two second wait <laughs> to get out of there yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we did that in the wisconsin dells right as the like little we're ranger pulled up yeah. and everybody was already next to the fire so we couldn't run from it we're like yeah. please leave please leave <laughs> please leave oh we're, we're, we're we will be spotted with scars <laughs> yeah oh. dan you you're, you you're are you in the dells is your uh, we're just no, uh, we're like to. northeast of the dells a, a, just a little bit you yeah. got a cabin yeah, we have a cabin like an hour north of Madison. I'm jealous of it. It's the you best. Let him oh, go to the cabin. Invitation. You open invite, invite, I was just at one in Lake Arrowhead this weekend. I'm like, a fireplace? I don't think I need more right. than this. No, one of my don't. most annual. No, you don't. Yeah. It's like You can get in on this. Rory Scoville and I have like an annual conversation of let's plan a weekend at Comedy on State together and then just go to your cabin. We did that. We did and, that. And, and the Sklars really? are the only really? people who have taken it, God, have it taken was, advantage it was of just, it. It was really, yeah. it's like the perfect size. It's just like. And we watched a college football game yeah, at the in, local bar, Yahoo's. Yahoo's. Yeah, with Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> what town? What town is Montello. it? Montello. Okay. Yeah, I think they should like update the name of that bar to Google's. People. <laughs> I do too. Yeah. It right. used to be Jeeves. 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 Uh, yeah. <laughs> Ask Jeeves. <laughs> well, it's, I, Dan, this is how my, how connected I feel to that area. Uh, I was talking to someone who talked about a trip mm-hmm. that they had just taken. Kind of, they they went to, he was like, we went to the Wisconsin Dells, then we went over to the Badlands, mm-hmm. then went to Mount Rushmore. I was like, Wisconsin Dells? Those are my Dells. I've never been there. And I was like, oh, I know those. I, I've I seen suddenly... a sign for the House on the Rock. Yeah, I know. The... Someone know. told me House on the Rock, we got to go. But people love it. House on the Rock Illinois is right Wisconsin. It's, it's yeah. outside of Madison, right? No, it's, well, yes. Yeah, in, yeah Ta- directly. Ta- indirectly and directly. It's like Wisconsin. You're like, oh, I just go over there. <laughs> Tommy right. Bartlett is the, the Donald oh, Trump oh, of Wisconsin. Tommy Bo- <laughs> Bartlett's Robot World and Ski Show. I would I would throw, like, whenever I worked up there, like, oh, there's Tommy Bartlett's Me Planned too. Parenthood. We got uh, <laughs> Tommy Bartlett's Bank of America. Why is he dipping a toe into this world? Well, Tommy B was just, had a handle on I've been things. to all of his shows. All the, of them. Tommy Doesn't, Bartlett is like, could he be the king of Wisconsin? Like, very he probably, much so. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah. If doesn't, it was a monarchy. Also, doesn't the accent really take an edge off of the whole making a murderer thing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. We went over there and then they yeah. found a, yeah, they, we burned a cat. We found a little bit of DNA in the trunk there. You know, <laughs> so. I dropped the key in the trailer. I still want a bratwurst while I'm watching the yeah, whole thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> every episode should start with just a beer can <laughs> opening. <laughs> Uh, oh, all right. Well, we got dumbness. The, 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 we the do. world is getting dumber as we've all opined in every single <laughs> scenario that we've ever come up with. Damn it! It is getting dumber. You I thought it was going to get better since nah. the last time I was here. Well, I, I think it's taking a turn for the worse. Uh, and all we have is our comedy, Kyle Kinane, and, and stories sent into us by our amazing fans. Uh, Daniel, let's jump into one. Okay, here we go. Ready? This mm-hmm. was sent in by Super Califragilistic Expiala Josish. Dot, Joseph. dot, dot, Joey. Oh, close. Close. Yeah. <laughs> Joseph. It should have been Joseph. Can we yeah. please ask you to? I, I don't, don't want that, to punch that's you. That's why up. I like him. He took us on a ride. <laughs> Joey. Uh, at Joey <laughs> tweeted is the handle. He took us on a ride and then just stopped right before the <laughs> yeah. end. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. <laughs> All right. A drunken, shirtless man. Mm-hmm. So you're already auditioning for an episode of Cops. <laughs> lacrosse. Oh, yeah. saying lacrosse, Wisconsin. Yeah. That's right. A drunken, shirtless man. Allegedly barged into several Pensacola homes looking for a fight before running into a fence and knocking himself out. Okay. Well, that mm-hmm. was... He, di- he died doing what he loved most. I know he's not dead. He's not dead, dead uh, but he died he's gonna, he in peace. He's gonna die doing what he loves most, looking for a fight. Did so, you, you never... Nobody got fighting drunk? Uh, I've never gotten fighting drunk. Have you gotten fighting drunk? I've gotten. I'm ready to get my ass kicked drunk. Well, that's yeah. a different. Because I knew I drunk. wasn't going to win. Right, right. But I'm you wanted bit. to fight. I'm a, Shirt off. I'm a little guy with a smart mouth, and it was yeah. more seeing like who's really going to swing on me. Right, because I can make you. I can make yeah. you want to swing. Bar in Chicago, where are you at? Yeah. Oh boy, which which one wasn't I at? <laughs> oh, God. I I've only been angry <laughs> drunk one time, and I, I was more just like irritable. Than it, and I was at a bar in, on Lincoln Avenue in Chicago. Yeah, but Dan, Roses, if you were drunk, it, oh, Ro- yeah, yeah, Roses yeah, is a good. One. Yeah, is that Dan. one that had a liquor store attached to it, like package goods? <laughs> no, that's no, uh, I know Roses. Yeah, that, that one's in like Wicker Park, Park package Maria's goods or something street. like that. But uh, yeah, but like if you get drunk and you see an injustice like an happening, drunk. though, you will you definitely step in and fuck with the person mm-hmm. who's who's you. Oh yeah, hundred percent. No, but that, but that's with a point. I mean, like Mental I'm up. more like irritable, yes. or I'm like, you know what? If you want to hit me, go ahead, because oh, it's going to be like the third worst thing that happened to me today. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe that's what this guy. That has a point too. Steve, Steve Martin, Steve Martin at the airport in planes, trains, and automobile kind yeah, of drunk. Yeah, We're yeah. like, what are you going to do about it? And he gets punched in the face. Yeah, or. Well, but so, so, but there's a difference because there is a a logic in that. It, mm-hmm. There is a, maybe not what Steve Martin did, but getting drunk at a bar and provoking other drunk people to go shirtless into homes right. where people aren't necessarily. Yeah, drinking. you're not expecting it. If you're at a looking bar, looking for a fight, <laughs> looking for a fight. If you're at a bar and someone's like, "Go ahead, hit me." I think mm-hmm. most people at the bar are like, here we go. Yeah. This is what you, ex- you expect to see this But if you walk into but a house I, where someone's doing the dishes and someone's saying, I'll put the baby down, you right. do these dishes, right. and then where someone's looking for a fight, let's go, bitch. That doesn't feel right. Sometimes some people just become writing prompts for others. Yeah, you know? Exactly. I might live in a community of creative people that don't know that yet, and mm-hmm. I'm going to give them a great story to start. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Christopher he's Doyle a, he's Norman. <laughs> he is. Christopher Doyle Norman. Doyle. So Christopher Doyle, Doyle Norman. Doyle. Is a middle name. Could have been the end of his name. Christopher Doyle. Doyle. Right. Yes. So no. getting drunk and taking your shirt off could have been the end of the night. Right. Instead, he went one more last name. Also, Doyle, like, he's like, call me Norman. Doyle again. <laughs> I'm sure he said say that Say Doyle to, to my face. Say Doyle, of, say well, Doyle to my face. you barged in here <laughs> saying Doyle, so why would I have said it? <laughs> I would have never said it anyway. I'm sorry, what'd you call me? No, I didn't call what'd you. What'd you anything. just call me? You came in and what said did you I'm just Christopher call Doyle me? Norman. What'd you, what'd you just call me? Your full name. What was it? I feel like you're looking Say for it. a fight. Say it. <laughs> or I'll, well, I swear to God, I'll run into that. That back was and my fence. thing as a bouncer too. I would always try to oh, very bouncer. objectively <laughs> tell the person. I was like, I feel like you want to fight tonight, mm-hmm. and then they would be like, uh, You mean? Mate. You- Maybe I do. Like you know, <laughs> they don't. You, you don't out. know me. Or the best was when somebody'd be like, uh, like, like, fuck you, you fucking piece of shit. And I'd be like, that hurts my feelings. <laughs> then a drunk person who's angry now has wait what? They're like that hurt me when you wait, called I have to me account, that. Day. I have to account right, for you, right? Because they they wanted you to come, come back, back at and them. if you don't, then they're like very perplexed. The old yeah. NBA move what do you mean that hurt your feelings? Don't tell me that hurt don't, your feelings. Tell, tell me now. What, I have to tell me what upset you today. Tell me about your day. Sometimes Kyle, I would do that and be like, 
I wouldn't kick a person out. I would ask them mm-hmm. if they I couldn't hear them. If we mm-hmm. were at the bar, I'm like, I can't hear you. Can just come outside, tell me the rest of the story. And we'll figure it all out. And then I'd be like, Well, now <laughs> we're out. Yeah, it's, it's a roadhouse move. That's right. That is a <laughs> talk the a, anger out of them. Yeah. Uh, 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 being a door guy, man, it made me a good dad someday. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. just let's yeah. talk it out. Let's talk it out. Let's okay. go outside. Taking your kids outside. Christopher Doyle. No, I leave him there. Yeah. This, you live outside now. Yeah. Cool off, buddy. Uh, Christopher Doyle Norman was arrested Tuesday night for numerous offenses, including home invasion, battery, burglary, larceny, and criminal mischief. That's the cycle. That is batting for the cycle. I right take there. a criminal mischief charge. That sounds playful. That to me is my favorite of all charges. I feel yeah. like you guys should see what he looks like as we tell his story. Because it criminal mischief is taking a shit in a fountain. Am I right? Is that criminal mischief? (laughs) Yes, that's what it is. That's just making a stand. Yeah, Um, (laughs) not taking a stand. It's making Making a stand stand. or solving a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Criminal mischief is like moving all the almond peanut M and M's like and the peanut M just switching them up like in a store and just like when this Mm. uh, sir you cannot just created a bunch more work for sir you cannot and he's just like rattle 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 (laughs) what I'm not doing anything. (laughs) Okay. I'm going to show you this dude, Christopher uh, Doyle Norman. Uh-huh. Are we going to know less about him having seen, or are there going to be more, are more questions? I'm going, to go, I'm going to go as far as say I could show you this picture, not read another word from this article, and we, and we would go. still get it about ten minutes. By the out. way, for everybody listening, the picture will be on the Facebook page. If you are listening to this podcast and you haven't joined the Facebook page, what are you doing? And you and you haven't joined the drip either. Do that. Get on okay, it. Ready? All right, let's get do it. it. Let's That's see how this. you do it. <laughs> Oh. I could have I could have guessed his name in three tries. I think. <laughs> yeah. uh, that, he looks the, like a fight. He looks like a fight. He looks like he's sunburned in a way that means he passed out in the sun. Yeah, he's been. He's still <laughs> thinking boy bands are going to be. He a is thing. a type he has of like guy. A line beard. Yeah. yeah well, the, honestly, <laughs> could be a, shaved. Could be a very handsome man. <laughs> if could he be a handsome. Oh, man. Yeah. Good, good jawline. Could be a ha- handsome man if he if he stopped letting his friend cut his hair. Okay. <laughs> Here's what happened. Norman allegedly began his rampage. Don't give him that much credit. Yeah. <laughs> rampage, rampage, rampage to is me, just a great movie. Yeah. It's not <laughs> something you do. Rampage is just a very original non King Kong based yeah. movie. You steal a tank when there's a rampage. Yes. Yeah, then that's you were in rampage. Rampage. Yeah. Your rampage. He allegedly began his rampage by kicking open a gate in the 2000 mm-hmm. block of Langley Avenue, a- approaching a person who was sitting outside their mobile home and punching them in the head. Oh, One God. time. <laughs> <laughs> no, that person's gonna be okay. <clears throat> well, he, by the way, in a mobile park, I would assume that that you would expect that to maybe happen. From look, time if to you're time. sitting outside a mobile home, you should have your hands up, ready to block. At the least well, clenched. Well, I'm not gonna go at somebody. In I'm a not mobile going home. at somebody but, in a mobile but home. But I do I'm like the idea of a gate, like an easily openable. Yes, yes that's yes. what I call uh, boundary. Well. Like just a little latch. I'm He's not like, going at a guy in a mobile home. I'm just saying <laughs> this is the kind of thing that can happen in Just that be era. ready. He's got to be ready. ready. In the That's same awesome. way that if you were in a bar and someone said, let's go, your <laughs> yeah. attitude wouldn't be... If you were living in a mobile home, though, you're not ready for anything. <laughs> <laughs> he allegedly then damaged a ladder... And like, what the what? The, I, I hope the owner I was like love the ladder, man. <laughs> no, he took out his keys and scratched Doyle. Yeah. Oh, like, I mean, it's, it's, there's so much damage that ladder. That ladder. He's, He's like, like well, no, call me CD. He, I bet. I <laughs> someone's bet he, about to catch that criminal mischief charge. <laughs> I bet he kicked the thing that the ladder folds with. Uh, yes, and he bent a, it so it can't fully uh, fold back damage. up. He allegedly then damaged the ladder and the exterior door of the residence before moving on to the home next door. He's like the Grinch. Yeah, he is. <laughs> There, <laughs> as I've started to call him and will forevermore, CD allegedly <laughs> fell through an open front door, which means he tried to bang on it and it was already <laughs> open. open. And fell through a through screen? The, oh, yeah. oh, no, he just no, fell just into open an door. open door. Like, fell yeah. through an open door. One of the, this, By screen, the way, screen comedy isn't given enough credit. <laughs> Never. Like falling through screens, no. running through screens. Agreed. Everybody's been at a sliding a party with a sliding door, and somebody's just drunk and walked right, right into, into that. That, 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 that is gag, insane. That, that gag's gag, not going to get a good That gag, is always great. Uh, it is always great. I'll never forget 1994, San Francisco. We were just come out <laughs> from where we were in New York visiting friends. We were at a party. We had eaten pot cookies, and like we were super high, sitting in this party where there were all these like 
pumpkin pies and stuff. It was just, everything was, we had just seen the movie Baraka at the Red Vic Theater, you know, that like silent movie that was just like pictures of me, Japanese meekocks. I've never in, heard of it. Oh yeah, my God. Baraka's like on. At least you called it. I'm like, oh, oh yeah. Baraka's no, 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 like no, no. on. Well, go see it. Baraka, sure. Go, see, go get high and watch Baraka. It's the, like, one of the most unbelievable movies. <laughs> There's your shirt. And then point. put a screen door between you and a bunch of pumpkin <laughs> and a pies. Woman, and a woman was walking from outside of a patio in the inside. And, and we, we saw it person. coming. We saw it happening as if it was slow motion and nobody could do anything. We didn't have the words to use to be like, stop, stop, stop. And she just slammed Uh, into it. And it was, I am so sorry to say, Hilarious. And it's not a it's not a high budget prank. Nope. No. You can replace a screen She was fine door. by the way. Nobody yeah. gets hurt. She, never was, she wasn't it's really stunned at best. She was surprised. And embarrassed, and we did give her a hug afterwards. But I mean the 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 idea of falling through an open door to me could be the title to this guy's autobiography. Uh, first, falling, falling through, through open door. door. Yeah. <laughs> so he falls through C D falls through the open front door. One of the residents that inside this home grabbed a hammer oh, and yes. ordered C.D. Yeah. Norman to leave. Oh, See, this start... guy was oh, ready. Right. This guy or was, gal was ready. I think there was just a hammer around. <laughs> uh, maybe. Uh, he allegedly they left. used a hammer to like, pry but on by the, the, way, the, 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 the Okay, Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You said I think there's just he a hammer around. opening Coors Light. Yeah, that's, our, that's my sink hammer. <laughs> Grab me the sink hammer. That is, by the way, the best part about a mobile home is that stuff is always close to you. Yes, it's very true. It's always you say it's around. It was there. In <laughs> no one's going to say, "Go upstairs and get my good hammer." No, it's <laughs> right, right there. It's right and you there. get it. <laughs> he allegedly left the trailer park. So that's this person cleared him out of the whole. Oh, park. he hammered him out of the park <laughs> yeah. he, while yelling, "Quote!" He would quote. I, I know I said it twice. Uh, he would quote, "Come back and burn the trailer down." See now that that's CD, ominous. That's a oh, CD. No. Threat right there. Oof, that's a terrorist threat. Big bad Norman wolf. allegedly went to a nearby apartment complex no. and, and, big, and began knocking on a door. When the resident answered, a shirtless Norman allegedly began yelling at the resident to fight him. Fight me. <laughs> no, nope, I'm um, busy right now. Fight, fight me. me. I've got spaghetti on. Mm-mm. Fight me. I won't first bring thought... your dad back. <laughs> you, <laughs> you start. <laughs> <laughs> My first thought, if I saw that, was like, wow, Jehovah's Witness stepping up their game. Yeah. <laughs> this really is good. really a whole new ballgame. When ballgame. the resident closed and locked the door, which means he... He vampired it. Like, he observed the threshold this uh, time. I didn't, I didn't invite you in. Right. Yeah, you right. can't come in blood. knocked. The guy opened. Fight me. Nope, thanks. Nope. Close the he's door a, and lock He's it. a new vampire, and he's fr- that's why he could fall through the screen door. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's kind of like an invite if it's yeah. a screen door. Yeah. Walked past a mirror. Didn't see himself. Uh, after the person closed and locked the door, Norman allegedly began to ram the door with his shoulder, oh. causing damage to the door and frame. Oh it God. stops there because he obviously couldn't break the door right. down. Right. Very hard to do. Have Jason sparted it once I and did is it. still proud of himself. Yeah. He will tell us the story now. My one and a half year old daughter <laughs> locked herself in our bedroom and we were outside the, I mean, trying so hard to explain to her that she needed to unlock the door to get yeah. through. She could not understand it. She started screaming and crying and I'm like, I'm taking this down. Literally thinking to myself, I'm going to bounce off this like sure. very light door and embarrass myself in front of everyone. <laughs> Took it off the frame. Into the room, it felt like a fireman. It was awesome. <laughs> you backdrafted that. I yeah, backdrafted yeah. it. Check that door for Flatten, me. Flattened is flattened one and a half year old. Yeah, I mean, flattened just flattened her under the door. door. But I felt <laughs> great about being How able good to did knock you it. Feel, Jay? That's there was a moment where I was like, "Where is she? Where is she? Where is she?" Holy shit! I just did that, <laughs> and I feel great. And then we cleaned her up, and Norman everything was good. Allegedly moved on to another <laughs> residence where he walked in through a closed but unlocked door. He's figured it out. Yeah. Uh-huh. He walked yeah. through that time. That's right. Uh, and By began, the way, why would you not lock your door? And I mean, began, that's a, I'm not blaming the victim, but lock your fucking Every time door. a community is like, we used to not lock our doors in this community, and you paid the price. That's right. 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 <laughs> and then someone was murdered. This right. jackass right. That's walks why in. the lock exists. That's right. I mean, Golden State Killer. Uh, he Honestly. allegedly moved on to another residence where he walked through the closed but but unlocked door and began yelling for the apartment's two male occupants to fight him. Mm-hmm. At this point in the story, he I... He wants to get hit. This is... Kyle can tell you. When you want to get hit, you want to get hit. Why can't maybe we, he's a little heartbroken. Why can't we... A little bit? <laughs> I think maybe he's a little heartbroken. <laughs> for 20 years. And he's trying to feel something else. I want to feel something. Like uh, Why can't he walk into a... Put spider. me in prison. At least somebody's got to touch me. That <laughs> a spider has <laughs> caught the fly situation, oh, like yeah. Pulp Fiction. Like, oh, yeah. He's asking for this. He wants it. He could like live under a cell underneath someone's bed for the next like 10 years. So he walks in, starts yelling for the two apartments male occupants I to may. fight him. He allegedly began chasing the victims around a table 
unable to catch them, he then threw a lamp at them and missed. And they and I hope they were like, now go. <laughs> now you're <laughs> broken a yeah. goddamn lamp. Get out. Mom Mouses always said lamp. don't play ball in the house. Wait, but there these are there are moments like this where truthfully, hopefully, none of us will ever experience this in a lifetime. Ever. Right. A right. guy walking in the mm-hmm. house, fight me, throwing a lamp at anyone and right. leaving. Agreed. Can we consider that a victory in our lives now that we know this is even possible? That we haven't had it happen to us. And so that, had, and that it won't somebody happen. walk into your residence. Yeah. I had that I was in New York at a friend's apartment and I didn't realize their door because I was just staying on the couch and the uh the son of the landlords, which is a just a was a, this blackout drunk Polish guy, just walked in. Yeah. And then was just it was like seeing a bear confused. Yeah. Because I was like, I don't know if he's violent or not. But yeah. He's just looking around like this isn't my where. Yeah. And but there was no English. I'm like, can I help you? <laughs> and he's just like, ha, oh, and red faced and drunk. Uh, and I'm like, kind you pull of your jacket up to make yourself I, seem bigger. Yeah, 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 as yeah. big as you can. Make, no, like, do clap I, loud. Do, do I play dead? The TV's still on though. That kind of gives. <laughs> and just him going, ha. Oh, I'm like. I eventually made like I was like shoo. I was like making <laughs> shooing noises <laughs> at, a, at, a, at an adult man. Like you go, you go, shoo. Get, Kyle, get, hey bear, hey go bear. Get, I go on, get out of Chicago. Kyle, they weren't having a party, so I didn't know. But they had people over, and somebody had just they obviously went to like go smoke a cigarette in the car, and then mm-hmm. they didn't go up to the high enough uh, deck. You know, all of our back decks in Chicago. Of course, yeah, yeah. and uh, they, the guy just burger walked. time some frat guys <laughs> back there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and he just walked. He walked in. And I'm in the kitchen, and I'm like, hey! And he's like, where are we? <laughs> I go, you're not, wherever, you're not, you're not where we you're are. supposed yeah, to be. Yeah. I'm fine. And he, like, confused, turned around, and I just think... walked back up. Well, they don't apologize, but you know they're harmless. <laughs> right. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. All right, just leave. Yeah, I love the lack of apology is, like, the guy who doesn't wave when you let him in. Yeah, yeah. Oh, those drive. people. Uh, I love that Kyle, I think, played that the best with the drunken, red-faced Polish dude. You didn't play dead. You played that you were dead inside. Yeah, <laughs> that was smart. I got like a deeper level. Either, <laughs> exactly. So then he's like, ah, there's nothing here. In the, in the worst case of Polish jokes came coming to life, though, they also, uh, <laughs> when my friend moved in, they installed a new uh, door lock for his apartment with the keyhole on the inside of the apartment. Yeah! Yeah! And then push button in the hallway. Uh, <laughs> Perfect. It's like, you know, you got, you know, there's jokes about you right, guys, right? Right. right. You yeah. guys are not helping the situation at all. <laughs> so, so Doyle Norman. Why were they late for work? Comes the, in. Chase, the escalator broke down. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Chases these people. I can, I can finish the rest of the hour. <laughs> yeah, with these guys. <laughs> Chases these two dudes around a table, then throws a lamp. According to the report, Norman then grabbed a slice of pizza oh, before geez. chasing one of the victims into a bedroom and snatching a landline phone from another victim who was trying to call nine one one. The this fact that these guys have a landline is already I, that makes me word. suspect them more than anything. What are you doing? There? Like if this what guy was if this have? guy was hunting for his wife who was kidnapped, <laughs> right. you'd be like, all this kind of seems justified. Sure, he's just on a rampage. This is the shittiest. I don't call it a rampage. Movie I know exactly. Dee Norman then allegedly, yeah, but it's a great Liam Neeson movie. Know, right. Swung the phone at the victim se- several times, connecting once with the back of his head. Norman oh. then chased the man outside. And around the apartment complex before running into a chain fence, knocking it down and passing out on top of it. That wow. is, he just. And I hope the guy he was chasing walked back, kicked him one time in the ribs, and went back into his home and locked exactly the right. door. Kick him in the ribs. I, I wonder if I would start stomping on his face. Just for no, fun. No, you would not. Just for fun. Can you we roll him up in the fence? <laughs> 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 Can we acknowledge if you do just yell, give me back my son, <laughs> in any situation of getting kicked out of a bar or yes. something? It, it would kind of like make it great. I think a lot of people would run to your rescue. <laughs> yeah, hey, they, hey, hey, wait a minute. Hey, hey, he that, lost something. His son is gone. That or just, I didn't kill my wife. <laughs> Sir, well, you've just been over He's a fugitive. <laughs> right. so that, I say that all the time. Deputies <laughs> arrived at the scene to find Norman unresponsive and seemingly under the influence of alcohol. Hmm. Oh, they were able to that? handcuff him without further incident, though he allegedly made vague threats to the deputies during his arrest. <laughs> Somebody's going to regret what they're doing tomorrow. I'm going to come back. <laughs> I'll butter your cat. What? What? What, what does huh? that mean? You, be- you better recognize. <laughs> I've got a steel, a steel dream and a nightmare in your heart. <laughs> I'll what shampoo you t- and condition your Ford Taurus. No. <laughs> no. I don't that know what that is a means. good thing, actually. The about to rinse mask? and repeat that ass. <laughs> no. <laughs> We're going to get to play this a couple times today, so let's start now. I'm going to ask you guys, how old oh, is Christopher boy. Doyle Norman? Two, 
much fun leaves marks in life. Living hard, you'll pay the price. Who is gonna get it right? Guess the age. Guess the age. And now we've seen the picture. And you showed us his picture. And yeah, so you his now picture. you can go first. Is that an eyebrow ring or is that the cursor? Uh, an eyebrow uh, ring is usually a real That was good... the cursor. Okay. <laughs> but if I can okay. dig into Photoshop and give him a uh, ton of piercing. Give him some stuff. Now an eyebrow ring is always like, ooh. Like, yeah, I'm I, covered in bad tattoos and I can look I, at that and go, he like, looks you can take like, that out. He doesn't have a bad He, he looks like someone who just discovered the man 311. Mm-hmm. Oh, like yeah, he yeah, just yeah. found out about him, and he's uh-huh. like, "Have because, you heard these guys?" Because the stripper he fell in love with still dances. Today. That's right. That's, that's right. right. That chin she strap com- beard she, is strong. Though. She comes yeah, original. Yeah. 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 Uh, okay. <laughs> do you want to go first, Tig, which is second, or third, Kyle Kane? In terms of guessing, uh, let me just go first. Okay. I want to. I want to give him like a. Let me see that picture again. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> let me see this fella. This guy. This fella. Ooh, I, you know what? He looks like a like a hard thirty-one. Mm. All right. Mm, Jason Jack. or Randy Sklar? He he literally, if he wasn't who he was, and it was, was someone I know, he could be a dad of a kid at my school, and he's like forty six. Yeah, but I <laughs> I'm going to tell you that he's twenty six. Yeah. Twenty six. This Jason guy could be Sklar. fourteen. Yeah, there's way, a twenty way he parties. There's a twenty year swing on this guy's <laughs> look to age. Mm-hmm. I think this guy's thirty nine. Okay, and I think he has f- had enough, and he just got a lot is, of anger. Yep, it's all coming <laughs> up. But this is like anger. fight yep. me. He's he's going fight just, me. But he's got just for men and the neatly groomed beard. He, he does. does. But he's he does. thirty nine. Can pull that off. So thirty nine. You say thirty one. Thirty one, and I say twenty six. One of you is only one year old. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get your answers in now, yeah. townies, because Christopher Doyle Norman. Norman call me that is. <laughs> you call me. 32 years oh, old. Oh, man. Okay. Nice. Done, Kyle Ooh, yes. He walks in and just walks that's a off. Rough, that's like 31, and he got dumped a week before. He's had a hard week. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Dude, he is yeah. a lot. Yeah, normally, of normally by Florida standards, very handsome, man. Right, yeah. By the way. <laughs> 30, that's, a good, that's a Florida catch right that's, there. That's oh, cola yeah. 32 that's, is rest of the country 58. The Florida yeah. 8. All right, yeah, there yeah. you go. Ooh. All right, yeah. look, first story down He can down take down books. a gator. He can yeah, take he down could. a gator. He can wrestle a gator if he needed to. In, in, a, in a manner of, uh, you know, just being a gentleman. Sure. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe he'll learn about sunscreen in jail. Yeah, I doubt it. <laughs> All right, uh, that's the first story down it in the is. books. Kyle Kinane is with us. We have two more stories. I'm so excited. Uh, stay with us. We'll be right back. Stick around. Make a sound for more dumb people town. It's a trying time that challenges all of our basic assumptions. However, one thing that brings us all together is our common humanity. Now, more than ever, teams must come together and work together to solve big challenges. And Trello is here to help. Trello, part of Atlassian's collaborative suite, is an app with an easy-to-understand visual format. Plus, tons of features that make working with your team functional and just plain fun. Teams of all shapes and sizes and companies like Google, Fender, and even Costco all use Trello to collaborate and get work done. With Trello, you can work with your team wherever you are, whether it's at home or in an office. No matter what device you're using, computer, tablet, or phone, Trello syncs across all of them, so you can stay up to date on all the things your team cares about. Keep your workflow going from wherever you are with Trello. Try Trello for free and learn more at Trello.com. That's T-R-E-L-L-O dot com. Trello dot com. Hey, guys. Welcome back to Dumb People Town. Uh, we should read some drip names, shall we? Let's yeah, do it. Let's, let's do, do it. that. Drippy names. we got right. some drip names. Here Thank you guys uh, so before much. Before we do the drip names, yes. we want to mention a couple dates that are really important yes, for to us. all of us. Uh, Randy and I are headlining at Flappers Comedy Club in Burbank. Yep. Uh, someone just told me they walked by. And uh, saw the poster there. saw the poster. On December 20th, nice. we're going to have some good people on that show. People who've come on and done this show yeah. uh, mm-hmm. as our support acts. It's going to be a lot of fun. Please come out to that. It's not a huge club. We'd love to fill it with Let's uh, sell it out with the come on, it's a holiday stuff, season. Right? If you're but in LA, come to that. Exactly. And I, guys, uh, I have uh, more dates for the Together Tour. I'm going to close out the year here with a couple in Oklahoma City and San Antonio, Texas on December 13th and December 14th. So, townies, if you're in San Antonio, you're in Oklahoma City, come see me. Go to DanielVanKirk.com for those tickets and let's hang out do that, together. Do that. Let's right. read some names. Let's Dan, read some loving I'm going to go people. on the, I'm getting off my high hog there here. There you go. Dan, Dan, now, that person knows. We haven't even said it. Only I'm getting off the know. high hog. I Dan know. Hog. Yes. Hog. 
Jake Lou oh. Lou Rawls. Jake Lou Rawls. Never fight. Ooh, look Jake at you Rawls. guys. Corey, Corey G. G. Corey G. Uh, an unknown, unsung hero of I love early this. rap in the 90s. That's Corey right, G. Corey G. I love this next person because they have two last names. Freeman Fisher. There you go. Is Freeman it, Fisher is sounds... Is it Fisher Freeman or Freeman Fisher? He sounds like a slot receiver on any NFL team right now. Yes. What is Freeman Fisher's uh, 40 time? 4.3? 4. 4. Especially 4. Freeman Fisher up there at the and top levels. You got to do this with a Chicago accent. I don't know if he's from Witsky. here, but Dan Witzke. Dan Witzke. Good old Dan Witzke. And his dad right. goes by Danny. Danny. So it's like his dad, Dan, Danny, Danny Witzke, and his son, Dan. And then his grandson, Daniel. Chris Jones. Chris Jones. Driving Chris Jones. that train. I don't cocaine. <laughs> Chris Jones, you better watch your speed. I love when you guys get Mary, like Mary that. Kathleen Robert. Robert. Robert or Robert? Robert. Robert? Robert. Robert. MKR. Robert. 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 I'm part of the Robets. I want to thank Kyle Shea Kyle as Shea. well. Kyle Shea Butter. Mm -hmm. Joseph Vandry. I'm, now, in you know quite, who, I'm in quite a Vandry these days. Well, you better be because that's my cousin. Yeah. And you know where he lives? Where? St. Louis. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. love him. What's love up, him. Joe? Love Thanks, you, brother. Buddy. Hey, you want to hear something that's really cool? A mm. week late podcast. These guys are great supporters of ours. They, they constantly, always we've never set it up. Us. We could take this moment to say how great they are. They promote almost every episode that we do. They really tell do. People check, check out their check Follow out their them stuff. on yeah. Twitter. Yeah. That's a week late podcast. Thank you, guys. Jeffrey Bryan, two first names. No Davis. Jeffrey Bryan and Freeman Fisher need to get together and just swap one name. <laughs> Give each other one first name and one uh, last The next person, this sounds like a Deadwood character. That's right. Danielle Harlow. Danielle Single Harlow. Single mom shot all of her husbands. I've been reading all of <laughs> Do you Have you read all the Harlow novels? I have. I want to raise these kids alone, <laughs> God damn it. Uh, uh, Daniel Judge. Daniel Judge. I'll be the Daniel of that. Oh, I love all these. We got a Danielle, a David, Dan, a Daniel. You ready for this? David yep. Wolfile. Wolfile. Wolfile? Wolfile. Wolf Wolfiel. File. Wolf 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 I don't know. Right. And Wolf then file. how great is this one? If this guy did not play in the NBA in 1997. I'm going to add a, the third at the end of his name. <laughs> you are? You ready? Yeah, go for it. You do it. Okay. Buckley Wilkinson. The third. You know this guy. <laughs> like he was like. He 320 was, pounds in a center and could still dunk. He was, he was the was eighth man on the Celtics <laughs> in the He was 70s. Escalade Buckley before Wilkinson. Escalade was Escalade. <laughs> All right. Let's get back into the show. Thank you guys, everyone, uh, for that. And uh, we want to remind people next Yes. Next Monday. Yes. Live at Largo. December Largo. 10th. <clears throat> December 10th. Get your tickets now. They the are going to. 100th Dumb People Town. Will Forte is our guest. Uh, Ted Leo will be playing music. Oh, it's going to be fun. That'll be really Theodore fun. Theodore Leodore. Theodore, Theodore Leodore. Leodore. Love him. He's so great. And then uh, another live opportunity for you guys is at Sketchfest in San Francisco on January 11th at 10.30 p.m. Cobb's Comedy Club. Ron Funches. It's going to be. Bunches yeah, of bunches. Bunches. And that's also kind of your birthday party. That, well, it, it will is. be because I, I guess we won't start right at 1030. My guess mm -hmm. is maybe we'll start a little after. At so, midnight, we'll all sing happy birthday. To Randy. Right. Uh, <laughs> I was wondering, you guys ever just break off? Like, I'm going to do my own thing. Yeah, yeah we yeah, have. We, we, we totally have. have. We, but we, we do. do share a lot of friends. So it's like, well, we might as well just all get together. Get a big party going. And then who's got the more... Friends. Well, yeah, we do. Right. At the end of the night, we break down who came for who. Right. Yeah. And so uh, that was one of my roast jokes for Jason. Uh, <laughs> we still celebrate our birthday together, you know, just to give the illusion that Jason has friends. <laughs> wow. has, anybody book, has anybody booked just one of you for a show? No, uh, that's never happened. <laughs> I, I kind of thought, I'm like, hey, Jason, I'm just. No, but I will don't say this. We don't need what Randy We don't need what Randy Randy didn't Randy brings. make it to Canada once. Oh, oh yeah. Really? Did yeah. we tell you that story? That was unbelievable. So Randy mm -hmm. forgot to... This is, speaking Mike. of dumb people town, uh, <laughs> Randy forgot... Well, wait, you know what? Let's save that as a drip episode. Oh, okay. All right, yeah, yeah. We'll throw that into the drip. If you want to hear the story about Randy yeah, and yeah, his yeah. giant okay. mistake, we will share that. How much, how much bullshit does customs give you, though? The most. I mean, like when they're like, oh, 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 oh. No, this is what they're designed for. Like, they're like, give me one of these a day, and then I'm so happy to do right, this. Right. All right. Uh, let's oh, wait, anything we're pimping or promoting oh, yeah. for you? Uh, live shows or Kyle Kinane. No, I'm doing comedy? shit the rest of the year. Okay. okay. All right. But in the new year, you got stuff. And if they go to Kyle I think like I'm in Nashville at the end of January. Right. I love it. That's good. All good right. for you. Kyle Kinane. And he's, and he's part of the new... So remember that, everybody. He's so good on those who can't. We're also on that show. Oh, new yeah, season new launches in January. Up, yeah. yeah. So uh, watch January that. 14th. On True TV. Everyone here should be watching that and emailing in to True TV to tell them to give them another season. Okay. Uh, let's do it. You ready? Yep. yep. Send in by Jake Magnuson at Jake Magnuson, N-U-S-O-N. Jake for Jake. This story is a couple years old, but it's I, great. I don't care. 
I, I don't, don't care. We don't need to but be usually, topical. No, I'm saying no. because usually mm. if someone sends me a story that isn't like within a month mm. old, I've right. seen it. You've already yeah. seen it. Yeah. yeah, it's about a two-year-old <laughs> last week who went into trailer homes <laughs> trying to fight people. With a hammer. Right. <laughs> trying to fight other babies. <laughs> Madison, Wisconsin. Ooh. Mm-hmm. A Madison man was arrested Thursday afternoon after throwing a beer bottle at a bartender mm-hmm. who changed the bar's music from Black Sabbath to Christmas music. <laughs> this is metal. It's the most <laughs> wonderful Oh, time. my God! I'm, 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 I'm with the guy so far. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm not totally on Yeah. I mean, there is always a moment. I remember we were sitting in, like, uh, like a giant lecture hall at University of Michigan. I was sitting with a uh, buddy, Matt Capista, who was drinking a Coke. Uh, this is back, I think, when they only came in metal bo- or in uh, glass bottles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he said to me, he's like, how weird, how different would this class? Did you go class- to college in the 30s? Yeah. yeah no, they, how- there were cans back then. <laughs> I, I mean, but he had a <laughs> bottle. He had a bottle of yeah. something. You know you think it was always glass in, when you were in college? What? Gatorade. Yeah. Gatorade used to only So he had a glass like bottle. <laughs> That's like, it. It was yeah. a like, Snapple. Very, it was yeah. very safe for Maybe a courtside beverage. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it was a Snapple. It was a glass bottle of something. And he was like, how different would this <laughs> class be if I... If I threw this bottle at our professor right Whoa. now. Whoa. And I was like, he's like, I'm not going to, but how that would be the thing we'd all talk about for a long time. I'd be, I was like, that would get you in, like, thrown in jail. This yes. person yeah. didn't yeah. have that filter that said, don't, <clears throat> don't do this thing. No. Well, I mean, if you're going to turn off Sabbath, I mean. But in a, like Friday night in a bar. Or what? What night did it say? It's a, <clears throat> I'm gonna, Thursday, Thursday night. Thursday, 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 night. All right, Thursday so night. So it wasn't the Sabbath technically for yeah, any but, religion. But let me say this, and this <clears throat> is the truth <throat> here. Uh, why would you ever turn off like Black Sabbath? Like wait, wait for the song to come to the end. You know what I mean? Is that what he did? <laughs> you know just what? like in the middle of the I song? I feel like seeing this bartender <laughs> get hit by a bottle. <laughs> yeah, that's, right, that's right. <laughs> I can't think of anything more Black Sabbath than that. Well, Madison police responded to Farm Tavern Bar at 1701 Moorland Road just before 4 p.m. <laughs> for reports of a disturbance Day involving a man drinking. who had just left, according to a release. Sure, you throw a bottle, you get out. Get That's out. a walk off. <laughs> right th- the reason I said this is old because I, this came out like right before Christmas, like two or three years ago. So I think when it was we were like in Madison, late December. Okay. Yeah. yeah, dude, it could have been when we were in Madison. <clears throat> Christopher W. Gambeck. Gambeck. Uh, give me your best bet. G A M B O E C K. Gambeck. Gambeck. Yeah. Gambeck. Yeah. Gambe- uh, if there was an I there, I'd oh, know Gambeck. O E is O E is A. Yeah. Gambeck. 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 Twenty-one inch neck on his shirt. <laughs> right. <laughs> Who patrons described as intoxicated and violent. I mean, that's his band right oh, there. Right. Yeah. <laughs> intoxicated and violent is a Black Sabbath <laughs> cover band. Got upset when the bartender changed the music from Black Sabbath to Christmas music. Maybe he was just a little mm. paranoid. Make it go get out, we'll cry. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Mick. Reportedly chugged his bottle of beer and slammed it down on the counter after swearing at the bartender. Gambeck then threw the beer bottle in the direction of the bartender's head. I'm going to show you guys a picture. This of guy now has Gambeck. a story for every wherever he goes yeah. in any other bar. He so this motherfucker turns <laughs> off Sabbath. I slammed down my bottle. I, I said no. It. The bartender also has PTSD anytime carols carolers <laughs> come to their house. <laughs> Hit the deck. <laughs> well, they're also mad because oh, it was a bottle. Of, and mom. It was a bottle of Blatz, and you got a return on those. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, all right, come on. I'm going to show blitz. you this guy. He is every man by himself at a metal concert. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh. Uh, he kind of looks like a character like a guy that who would ju- throw a beer bottle yeah, at like a bartender. A, a character that Jermaine Clement has never played. Yeah, that <laughs> looks like methed out Bill Hader. Yeah, <laughs> it is definitely like he, he definitely. Can. He and and metalheads, true metalheads. Christmas is the enemy of your entire oh, existence. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. joyful and it's a, and it's white instead of black. Mm-hmm. Yes. And it's yes. a celebration of Christ's birth, who you're a Satanist if you're a true yeah, metal. Absolutely. Head. Like he's had enough. He's Doesn't, trying to be part of society. And he's you like, can't, enough, enough. like they, if they would have that bartender infringed on his religious right to we're be a on Satanist. His side. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm always on their <laughs> side. Right. Yeah. Yeah. His expression too is like, Do you take it? <laughs> huh? Did you take the photo or not? Why is it so bright in here? Uh, do, you, do you understand your rights? Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I understand all of it. That I'll guy, he looks like the lead singer of the Crash Test Dummies <laughs> went on a like a eight year bender, <laughs> which you this. would if you kept singing that one song. <laughs> don't, don't. <laughs> can, I, can I please write some words? Nope. nope. Other patrons stepped in to keep him I'm a from songwriter. Song. He's like, no, what'd you is, write? The mm, song. This is just a placeholder. We'll actually put real words in there later. That, that guy has like, what's the songwriters union? The, the, oh, the, I don't the, ass cap. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that guy's got ass cap royalties from the <laughs> mm, mm, song. Yep. Yeah. That's so Other sad. patrons stepped in to keep him from going behind the bar. He is mad he at is Christmas mad. music. <laughs> I, I love it. As he circled the bar with his fist <laughs> clenched, police said. <laughs> Damn Kyle it. is absolutely right. This Christmas is the antithesis this of guy thought, This guy thought he was getting away from it. <laughs> right. That's why he was in a bar at 4 p.m. He's feeling poked and prodded the whole uh, Yuletide season. He's not I'll at a Macy's this. at 4 p.m. He's this. at a bar at 4 As p.m. As a Jew... The Christmas, the <laughs> amount of Christmas music everywhere is can Jew, be a I'm, little bit much. I'm siding with the Satanists. I am. As a <laughs> pagan, as they, I side with they the have pagan. The, the, have you ever been to the all Christmas bar all the time? Uh, in um, it's, uh, I'm going to guess it's in the uh, valley. Is it Oshkosh? No, no, no. Oh no! I literally thought you were going to say Solvang. <laughs> no, no, no. It's no. It's not like it's just. Yeah. It's still a dive bar, but it's Christmas all oh, the time. Oh yes. In a, it's yeah. not Eau Claire. It's. Uh, it it's is Kenosha, no. Appleton. It's Appleton. In Appleton. Uh-huh. Where I bought my first car. A oh, 70, okay. Seventy-two. Chevelle. You ever play that club? Appleton, Wisconsin. Yep, I did. Yeah, we that's why it. I was at that bar. Yeah. Yeah. Really? It's all like, Christmas. It's just Christmas thing. Yeah, it's just Christmas all the time. <laughs> what, but, do they ever get sick of it? And they just look at people's eyes, and they are dead. Yeah, we, we, we live yeah. in Appleton. We yeah. live in yeah. yeah. So we we kind of don't have a choice. My <laughs> guess is Fond that du Lac t- looks down <laughs> on us. We got a tolerance for things around here. Got a high threshold. This guy, middle of December or holiday season, I'm gonna guess, left without wearing a coat. Never had a coat. Oh, yeah. no. There's a guy no. who probably doesn't wear a Lo- coat. Dirty not. long underwear underneath a t shirt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. Definitely a no <laughs> coat guy. But <laughs> dirty keeps... long underwear could have been his heavy metal man. <laughs> <laughs> but keeps getting offered one. <laughs> By the way, I wanted to come I was watching a commercial on TV. For... You cold? No, I'm mad. Yeah. Those, are, those aren't similar feelings. No, no, you actually. Uh, I saw just a whole commercial about people having dirty CPAPs, and I thought oh. dirty CPAP would be the best ni- 2018 punk band name. Dirty. Dirty CPAP, and then I was like, "Let's come up with like 2018." And then someone Park said Bay. "tainted romaine," and I said "romaine taint." <laughs> Don't Which, <laughs> Romaine Taint, I think. Romaine that's Taint. That's a metal band. Right yeah, there. Open, it's a metal open band. for Romeo Void. <laughs> <laughs> and DC Paps. It's DC Paps. DC Paps. And Dirty C Paps. Uh, uh, so I did misread here. Madison Police responded just before 4 p.m. Uh-huh. on Christmas Eve. Ooh, oh, that wow. is, And he is done with <clears throat> yeah, that music. Yeah. But well, also. What are all of his family and friends going to say when oh, they know? Oh, <laughs> actually, ready for my favorite part of this story? Yes. Other patrons stepped in to keep him from going. Going behind the bar. If you start a sentence with his wife, I'm going to walk out of here. No, better. (laughs) That is when Gambeck's uncle eventually got him to the door. You know he's there with his uncle. (laughs) And they look nothing alike. Like his uncle has like a nice one of those like flexi gold watches. (laughs) Oh, you think that's it? Yeah, but he's like his drinking nephew and he wants to drink. So they they both have a mutual shared. like a Christmas sweater. They have a shared interest to get out of that goddamn house and go drink. So now let's go down to the bar. We could either play. Play winter golf or go down and have something to drink. Let's go down, play golden tea, and let's go. Chris, stop it. No, Chris, stop it. Don't. Hold him back. He's going to throw a bottle. You know, you guys didn't have to play that goddamn music while he's just trying Why to Why the hell do you think we're in here trying to escape it? Look at him. You play that music, you know you're going to piss him off. You're just being antagonistic uh, now. Right now. You're just being antagonistic. I don't know what that means. Stay stop down. Mo- you get back up, you're asking him to fight you. Throw it. I swear to God, no, I'll throw, throw it. it. He will. I'll throw it. <laughs> Do we get these curds to go. Or... <laughs> <laughs> you want any poppers, Chris? Hey, right. Let him have a popper. Well, no, I'll pay you Tuesday. Don't worry. But th- you know what you were going to do. Take them out. If they're too hot now, walk them for a block and they'll, they'll cool they'll off cool outside. Off they'll there. stop fighting if you let me get them out. <laughs> <laughs> 
Give me the courage. Give to him go space to breathe, damn it. <laughs> he eventually got him to the door. Draw some ranch in there with him. <laughs> but before Chris Gambeck left, he grabbed a Christmas tree in the bar, pulled it to the ground, and broke several ornaments. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the scene in Step Brothers. We'll pay you for the ornaments. <laughs> <laughs> Were these collectors or no? <laughs> okay, one of them was a precious moment, so I'll pay you back for that one. Or is that something you got from the Zayers? <laughs> <laughs> to me, pulling down on the Christmas tree <laughs> is like, was, is a pro fucking move. Because he's like, if Someone you're going to- took a lot of time to put he that said, up. He essentially put that and said, if you're going to ruin my Christmas by playing that music, I'm going <laughs> to- Yours. You, if Sabbath is on, you know he pl- he paid to oh, put it on. So played. that was also his music. His Again, quarter. I side with him. And also think that <laughs> while this whole fight is going down, there's Christmas music playing. Oh, 100%. 100%. <laughs> fuck you, oh, fuck your fucking oh, tree, and Chris, fuck these stop, fucking curds. Look at your soul. Fuck this. Chris, stop. I'm even talking about this. Touch, this touch, so. this pay to play shit with these juke boxes. <laughs> Now where I'm crack of shit, I put my two fifty in there. Holiday, jolly Christmas. No, I'll fucking I'll the best time of the year. I'll shove this angel up your fucking ass. Is where I'll do it. Guys, leave him alone. Leave him alone. You're making a lot of noise. Turn the music off, goddammit. That's what's keeping him going. Steve the snowman. If you just stop playing it, he'd be fine. <laughs> it's making him mad. It's a trigger. Da, 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 and the uncle da, da. knows the owner. Ken, you know what? We're going to leave, Ken. We're leaving right now. I'm good for my tab, Ken. He gets triggered very easily. When police. Ba, rum, ba, bum, ba. <laughs> oh, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> it's on you. You played another one that I told him. He's going for the tree. Turn it off. I, it's on its own system. <laughs> when police, the last, the last minute and a half was just for us. When, po- when police tracked Game back down at his residence, he rushed towards officers, so he was still He's ready to go. Ready yeah. to go. And had to be, and this is what I love too, he had to be threatened with a stun gun before he was eventually, <laughs> we're, son, we're going to shoot you with it. Oh, all right. All right. All right. All right. Hey, we're we going to play It's a Wonderful Life on the TV in the <laughs> station. <laughs> Push it right up to your cell if you don't calm down, okay? <laughs> My guess is like he came at him and slipped three times in the snow. Oh, 100%. And this was just like, down, down, son, son, son they're not I even moving. I got a stun gun on you. How can I, can I sue for them not having the right ice melt in front of the bar? <laughs> Because that's what set me off walking in here was I was tripping a little bit, to be honest. So I came in in a bad attitude. And Dick Reed, you son of a... <laughs> Gambeck started yelling gender-based obscenities at a female officer uh, before he was transported to the Dane County Jail in tentative charges of his disorderly whole life, conduct. His whole life is trying to pull down the Christmas tree on his way out the door. Uh, that's everything. Oh, there's a female cop. I'm going to go after her down too. Falling on the way in, pulling down <laughs> Christmas trees on the way out. Right. We're going to get out of here on this. How old <laughs> is Christopher mm. Gambeck? Too much fun leaves marks in life. Living hard, you'll pay the price. Who is gonna get it right? Yes, the age. Yes, the age. I well, I'll let you get it. another gander at that photo. Get a gander at the Gambeck. Okay. Kyle, you want to go first, Tigger third? I'm going to go first. I'm going to say another hard 31. Okay. Mm, nice. All right. Hard live 31. He's sticking with it. Jason or Randy? I'll right. go. I think he's 35. He's a cold, 35 he's a cold weather Randy. Doyle. He's 35. A- <laughs> he's a cold weather Doyle. <laughs> that yeah. that Nordic- dude is 39. 39? 31, 39, 35. Nordic Doyle. We're in the 30s. All right. Get your answers in now, Tony, because Christopher Gambeck is angry and 30. Three years old. Oh, oh right between us. Right, 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 right nice. in between us. So he, you, you know, go. he was the age that Jesus was when he died. Not to bring <laughs> Christ back. That Jesus, uh, not to bring Christ it's back. It's a holiday job. I'm going to kill you. I'll take it all down. All right. You know he didn't like it. And you started it back up. <laughs> I'll summon the friggin' Dark Lord in here. <laughs> Chris, best. put the pentagram down. <laughs> <laughs> you know I've been messing with this stuff. Put it down, Chris. You know I've been messing with it. What's uh, my address? 66. Six oh. Mockingbird Lane. That's not a real thing. Right. Uh, all right, uh, Dan. We have one more story left. Can you give us a little teaser of what we're gonna hear? We have a f- we have a fight in Antarctica. Oh my oh, God! It's the March cold. of the Penguins. Cal Canada is with us. I can't wait. Stay with us. Stick around. Make a sound. There's more to people town. Hey. 
there, Adam Conover here. Humans Who Make Games is my podcast where I sit down with the people who created some of your favorite video games and have the kind of long-form personal conversation we so rarely get to hear. We talk about how they got into the industry, what their favorite games were growing up, and what it's like working in the trenches of this century's greatest new art form. This season, we've got a whole batch of new interviews for you. I talked to Kim Swift from Portal, Alex Preston from Hyperlight Drifter, Anna McGill from Control, and Alex Beecham from the game Outer Wilds. Whether you love video games or you just love learning more about other artists' creative process, I can guarantee you're going to love this podcast. So, you can get season two of Humans Who Make Games wherever you get your podcasts. Take a listen. Hey guys, welcome back to a holly jolly uh, winter edition <laughs> of Dumb People Town. Mm-hmm. We have Kyle Kinane. Follow him on uh, Great I, follow on, the on Twitter and Instagram. You are uh, Kyle Kinane. What was the deal on Instagram? You were not you were not verified, or you? What was the joke? I was with just that? laughing at. Like being being fake outrage that I wasn't verified. It was making me laugh so hard. But you were putting photo other people's photos. Well, because if you're not, you get like all these bullshit like fake ads of, inst- yeah. of people who want to be influencers. So I was just taking all these like dim bulb ladies in bikinis, <laughs> and I would just take their picture and put my show dates on it. It was making like, I mean, me I laugh so hard. If, if I loved gonna, it, and they, they would because they would be sponsored posts. So that means they paid sure. to be in someone else's feed. So if you're paying to interrupt my, I'm going to do whatever I want with that material. Uh, exactly. Thank you, <clears throat> Jesus. Uh, and then somebody so somebody funny. verified me, and I was like, God damn it! Oh, I had a good, I, I had you had a run going. You had a good run. You had a good run. You had a good run. Great gag going. Damn it! Great gag. All right, damn. We got one more story of fighting Antarctica. I can't wait. Sent in by Adam Hayduck at That's So Adam, uh, three O's in the cell. Wow. Okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Now, I'm going to say this is a little dark, but everybody survives and <laughs> stick to your Dan, rule. Dan, Dan has him. his rules. It, it is winter hand. in Antarctica. It's always dark. <laughs> I know. It is. A scientist plunged a, ki- <clears throat> a kitchen knife into his colleague. Oh my God! As mm-hmm. he was fed up with the man constantly telling him to the the endings of books that he was reading. <laughs> <laughs> so these two guys are up in Antarctica <laughs> Alone. and they just got books, and <laughs> one of them keeps reading books, and as he's reading it, his dick of a colleague keeps telling him the end of the book. He just is looking at him, he's like, you know, there's a head in the box. <laughs> <laughs> why? No. That's like that's like a frontier spoiler alert. Yeah. Like. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> that is so great, and I he is one hundred justified into plunging. Just me man. too. It How much of the book does he let him read? I know. That's the <laughs> thing like, if it's like the first three pages, he dies. What? God yeah. damn it. No, but if you let him get in, <laughs> like, like you care about get people. In, and it's all, because like, you know when you have a good book, and we were talking about this yeah. before we got on the air. If you have a good book, and my life has been like marked so between like when times when you book. got a great book, and then times when you don't have a great book, and you feel untethered. You have a good book, you literally say to yourself, I can't, because I read right before I go to sleep, I can't wait to get into oh, bed to like yeah. dig into no, this a no. little bit more. You know more. when you have a great book? Vacation when you have an aisle seat, oh, yeah. the plane lands and you keep reading rather than standing up. That's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. you're I like, get, oh, gotta oh, get a couple more pages. Yeah, I get it. That's when you have a great book. Totally. I just I like the idea, the ways of spoiling a book. Like, does he write the end on the guy's bookmark? So when he <laughs> opens it, he reads like I'm th- like if he's doing it in different fun ways. <laughs> right. I'm always siding with he, like the writes it in <laughs> he, pees stories. it he pees it in the snow outside the thing. <laughs> right. No! Oh, he's re- he's re- she's his sister. No! Yeah, but the other thing, too, is since these guys are stuck in Antarctica together and mm. and working together and presumably living in the same area oh, together. Oh, yeah. There aren't a lot of houses I, up there. The stabbing down to there. me, he up, told him for there. a long time. Like, mm. you do that to me one more time. I'm, to I'm, I swear to God, I'm going to stab and, you. And you know that earlier in the day, it was like they're not talking to each other. They're in the room mm, right. together. They're doing research. And right. the one guy's got a little bit of a cold. And so... Nose whistle? Nose whistle or he's something. mad about he, that. He just, he just turns to him without... They haven't spoken in like three hours. He's like, will you stop breathing? Yeah, stop yeah, breathing. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's just... Uh, <laughs> Sergei Savinsky. Russian. Yeah. 55 years old. 55. And Oleg Belaguzov... That's... I tried my best. Would pass the lonely hours during four harsh years together oh, in God. the remote oh. outpost of Antarctica by reading. So these guys are nonstop for four years together reading, reading books. books. However, Savitsky 
became angry after Belogozov kept telling him the endings to books. That is the best, most needling thing ever. Daily Record reports. What are you going to do? Stab me? What if he wasn't even doing it on purpose? He's like, this book was great, and I can't believe the guy dies at the end. Oh, <laughs> Belogozov, you son of a bitch. Daily Record reports that the victim is now... Uh, uh, getting being treated for his injuries as a result of the knife injury. He, he was <laughs> flown from Russia's Bellinghausen Research Station in King George Island to Chile following the alleged attack. Savinsky is back home in St. Petersburg under house arrest. Mm-hmm. I know. Perfect for a guy who loves to read. That's <laughs> great. Perfect for a guy who has just basically been under house arrest put, for four years put in me Antarctica. in prison. That's all they do is yeah, get yeah, books. Right. Yeah. Yeah. He's trying oh. to get out of Antarctica. He's like, get me back. <laughs> He has been charged with attempted murder. It is believed to be the first time a man has been charged with a murder bid in Antarctica. Wow. All right. I'm believed? Gonna... They don't have... Yeah, I mean, can look, prove that pretty quick. There's, there weren't many people. There are probably like 25 people that have lived in Antarctica over the last like 30 years. 30 years. I'm yeah. going to show you the pictures of these dudes. This mm-hmm. is the... I believe. I might have it wrong, but it will all survive. This is the stabber. Okay. Yeah, By the way, really impressive little, book. He shop. looks like the meanest gym teacher in the yeah, world. Yeah, and they do purposely take a picture of him in front, front of, of a books, bunch of books. All right, the books right. that were spoiled. <laughs> right. <laughs> he also has his arm up on his chair and posed in a way on his head. And we'll put this on the uh sure. on like the he, Facebook page. Like, yeah, I did it. Yeah, like, and yeah. like right. he's pensively plotting his next stabbing. Look at this guy. Oh, this guy's this Game is the, of Thrones. He's a rascal. And look at him. This guy's a this rascal. Guy's like on the, this guy's like a what? What are the? He's like on the Night Watch at uh, yeah. Game of Thrones. He's full right. of criminal That's mischief. Oleg Belaguzov, and he yeah, he literally looks like doesn't he? Looks like he's he looks like a wildling. He, he looks, looks like he doesn't open his mouth a lot when he talks. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> he looks like he's got food in his beard from, and Kyle's got a great beard, but he looks like he's got food in his beard from 10 years ago. Well, we're going to do it That's one more time. The, the he looks like he's like slept like with a beaver. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to do it one more time. Oleg Belaguzov, uh-huh. which is who I believe the second man is, holding this rock. He's in the Russian ZZ Top. Yes. And if I've gotten this wrong a couple times, guys, bear with ZZ me. ZZ Topski. <laughs> How old ZZ. do you think Oleg is? And I want everyone reading this to look at this photo before you make your guess. I mean, by the way, he mm. could be... Is Can I... Even put in the idea that he is actually from another time period. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, like they he looks froze like he's his in age. The, sh- the Patagonia jacket's he, given it away. Yeah, yeah, but like that might have been given North to him. Face. I feel like he could have been thought out of a block of ice from the Ice Age. I'm, I think he's gorgeous. He's, he's a, a yeah. good-looking dude. He's a he's like the wildling dude, the main dude. Kyle, that's the thing. He's a little scamp, and the other guy's a stick in the mud. Would you like to have fun with him? And that's a horrible pairing for four years <laughs> uh, in Antarctica. Four years in the hole. Come on now, you can't put those <laughs> we guys. We should have done some personality right? tests. Right? Let's just do like a chemistry read for like a day <laughs> and just see how Come these on, guys. This fly. is like the tango and cash of Antarctica. Right. I'm going. So this is the guy. This, <laughs> if I have it correct, our our friend here with the hat on, holding a rock, mm-hmm. is the man who. He was trying to read the books. He was trying to read the books. And, lush, lush and he got mad beard. and he stabbed the angry gym teacher. How old do you no, think? No, no, did he, he no, stab the No, this guy I got, got stabbed. stabbed. No, I got, think I had it backwards. Our rock holder did the stabbing. He was the oh, guy really? trying to read the books. I am uh, trying to read book in the year. Yeah, oh, because so the angry gym angry. teacher kept being a dick about it. He's the like Antarctica Rasputin. Yes. Wow. Okay. Right, so how old is this guy? Too much fun leaves marks in life. Living hard, you'll pay the price. Who is gonna get it right? Guess the age, guess the age. Kyle, do you wanna go first, Tig, or third? Now that I know, I'm gonna go, I wanna go first. Yeah. Okay. But now that I know that he's the stabber. stabber. Yeah. He was just trying to read books, and he had had it four years. It knocks two years off his age Thank for you. me. I was okay. going to go with a 31 again. Now now he's 29. He's not mature enough to realize the old guy's tonight. trying to party. This is, I mean, science. You got to go through grad school and levels. And he was sta- Yeah, he was stabbing his dad. He wasn't stabbing his dad. Yeah. <laughs> it's from yeah. somewhere. Take you know, that, you know what? He was really stabbing himself. Right? Yeah, exactly. God, really I'm going to say that guy's 38. 38 years old from yeah. Jason's club. There's Randy? no gray in that beard at all. Yeah. So he's definitely under 40. I, t- it's gorgeous, I'm gonna take. I'm going to swipe Kyle Kinane's 31 okay. from the other two. Right. I'm going okay. right. to fill in the void, so to speak. Oleg Belagazov. This go- I mean, he looks like a model. A yeah. gorgeous yeah. man. Four years. Sick of having books ruined for him. Mm-hmm. 
decided to stab his nemesis. Get your answers in now, Tony. And partner. Be- because, yes. <laughs> because you say nemesis, I say partner. <laughs> yeah. Work, coworker. Co-worker. Yeah. Co-worker. Yeah. Colleague. Yeah. Can't yeah. be the same thing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We stab the people we love the most. By the way, that is going to affect their secret Santa at Christmas time (laughs) around the office. (laughs) (laughs) Who got me that? Oh, God. Uh, (laughs) I got something for you. Mm, Do you want to trade or do you want to? Well, I think I know what you have. Uh, (laughs) Who knitted me this snitches get stitches pillow? Oleg is... 52 years Whoa! old. This motherfucker is 52? Are yes. you serious? Yes. Oh my God. I Let me see that he, guy not again. Not even a drip of gray in his yes. freaking beard. He 52 looks, I wanna years look that old. No. I want to look that good. I feel, that, I feel that article has been misreported. I think they, <laughs> mix, they, think they mixed up the... How, the, the other teacher guy's 55? Was, yes. 50, I was like, I knew he had to be... like. You don't just get sent to Antarctica right away. Like For You got to earn but some of that. Maybe it's like a research. Like he's a young I guy guess. learning from the other guy. True. One of them could have been an yeah, apprentice. Yeah, he's learning the ending of books. <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> Those my are our God, stories, Jess. Those are great. Wow. Fantastic. Don't go to Antarctica with someone you... like. You got to vet that stuff. I know. How I do just, you ever I, vet that? You can't vet that on a resume. Like... Monster.com, you can't do that. Well, also, you know, Russia not known for like, let's get in tune with our emotions. <laughs> yeah, find yeah, out, exactly. find out if we click. Bottle hey, that let's up. Let's stuff it down. <laughs> bottle that up and then throw that bottle at the bartender. I'll oh, give you ending of story. I give you. <laughs> I give you your don't, ending of your story. Don't push the joke over the cliff, okay? <laughs> Uh, there you go. That That's is it. a show. Kyle Kinane, thank you so much for joining us. Always fun. You are you have such great insights, and you you literally mesh with this town so well. Thanks, Park Alice. Ranger of Dumb People Town. That is his official <laughs> title. Uh, go see him live wherever he is. Follow him to find out where he's going to be. He's the best. Uh, Dan Van Kirk as well. DanVanKirk.com yep. uh, for any of his live dates. We will see you at Largo next Monday night on the 10th. Yeah. We will see you at uh, in San Francisco at Sketchfest on the 11th for our bir- our birthday. Let's call it our birthday show yeah. with Ron Bunch. Bunches of Funches. Oh, also, mm-hmm. I'm going to be in Oklahoma City and San Antonio on the 13th and 14th of December. So Ooh. at the end of next week. And, and we-, we are headlining uh, Flappers Comedy Club here in Burbank. It's very rare that we're in town doing a headlining show on the 20th of December. Of December. So if you're in L.A., come check us out there. All right? Sabbath, all night. That's it. And uh, <laughs> All Black Sabbath, all night. Oh, shit. We got to get back to work. Dum, 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 Make a sound, hunger down, it's dumb people town. It's a good show.